Karma Bites Dealer Finance. Square in the butt. Go get them, boy! <laughs> Have you hoped the unscrupulous actors that seem to occupy dealer finance offices would experience Karma's painful bite? Well, that day seems to be here. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as The Homework Guy, and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? Today's video on Karma's bite out of dealer finance's butt is brought to you by The Homework Guy team, home of super high intensity training for car buyers and our awesome group of auto experts. If you appreciate us working hard to keep you up to speed with our great videos and you want to support our efforts, well, there are plenty of ways to get on board and show us a little appreciation. Start by recommending us to your friends and help us get to that million subscriber mark. It's almost like party day here at the Homework Guy Studios. New faces coming to the FTC and the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau are describing car dealer finance as profoundly broken. Hello? How long have we been saying that here on the Homework Guy channel? Dealer finance is an ethical mess in almost any dealership across the country. Profoundly broken? Indeed. Two reporters for the Automotive News have covered this since the first of the year. Jackie Charniga and Audrey LaForest. I encourage you to read their articles. Finally, the agencies responsible for overseeing dealer finance market are on the attack. With Rohit Chopra poised to bring new leadership to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the agency heavily involved with overseeing auto dealers, car buyers are positioned to see big changes in the way interest rates are determined in dealer finance and changes to the many voluntary insurance and warranty products that literally every finance manager out there today says are must-haves and protect your investment. Whoops. Wonder what's going to happen to all those F&I training classes that dealers invested in from the likes of Shaka Dyson and others. What's going to happen to all those huge salaries finance offices are walking away with after emptying the pockets of car buyers? You know why I have a great big smile on my face? I just can't get it off my face. We get plenty of car salesmen, car managers, finance officers, general managers, and even dealer owners who say that the Homer Guy team has no idea what we're talking about, that everything in the car business is just great. They claim we're just making it up, as if the bad news we tell you about is just a figment of our imagination, and of course, your experiences are a figment of your imagination, and that we, yes, we are giving them a bad reputation. No, I'm not kidding. Seems to me that Rohit Chopra totally disagrees that things are honky-dory for you guys in the car business. In fact, he seems to be in total agreement with us. Hmm, here's an idea. Would one of you finance officers in our audience want to step up now and defend practices in dealer finance, like in our comment section? Do you want to leave a comment below and tell us what a great job you're doing? Do you want to elaborate on all the stuff that you just keep saying is part of protecting our investment? You want to explain all those big fat fees you keep packing into our car deals? How about now? You still want to say it's all good? Things are awesome? It's your actions, your lies, your deceptive practices, your high pressure stunts. They have drawn the ire of the FTC and the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau. It's about time. And if they make good on their threats, and all indications are that they will, they're coming for you. How much of that dealer finance swagger? Are you feeling now, huh, guys? Here's what I want to say about all of this. It is about time. Dealers won't have any choice now but to stop the nonsense many dealers engage in in finance. They'll have to install proper procedures that include a level of transparency not seen before. And they will have to take strong actions to guarantee compliance in the finance office. There's a way that you can take advantage of this. But first, here's my advice to the new chief of Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Consider who the beneficiary of all these actions are that are happening in dealer finance. It's the dealer owners. It's not rogue finance officers acting out on their own. Heck no. The dealer owners themselves expect their finance officers to behave this way. I've seen it ordered. And they fire their finance officers regularly if they don't do this stuff to car buyers. Talk to any finance officer in private and you'll find out how much pressure they're under by the dealer owner. Go after the dealer owners, and if you'd like some leads on some of the worst in the country, well, we'll help you out. We get thousands of emails from car buyers everywhere. They give us names, contact info, and details of these kinds of actions 
all the time, and we have no intention of covering up for these guys. For our viewers, here's how you can use this new development to your advantage. Start taking very good notes when you walk into a car dealership, or record stuff, track all of your emails, chats, or your phone calls if you're starting your car shopping online, where a lot of you should be. Keep tabs on everything. When something smells fishy, we'll report it. Send a complaint right to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Come here to the Homework Guy channel and leave a comment on this video. Leave the dealer's name, city, and state. Get us their contact info and include the names of the finance officer handling your deal. Let's speed up the accountability these guys are going to feel. Now, many of you have shared some pretty outrageous stories about car dealer finance offices. However, you may not be aware of how truly outrageous it gets. Let me give you an example provided by the FTC. Last May, Bronx Honda in New York got blasted for egregiously unfair and abusive practices in finance and agreed to pay $1.5 million to settle a gamut of FTC charges. Things like deceptive advertising and even double-charging consumer taxes on their vehicle. Unbelievable. Total lawbreakers, but... It gets worse. You know how much importance we place on always being an informed car buyer? Knowledge is the kryptonite to dealers like Bronx Honda. Here's how far this dealer went to take advantage of people they were sure wouldn't know the difference or wouldn't know better. As far back as 2010, the FTC discovered that they were charging significantly higher markups to minority car buyers as compared to similar deals with white customers. And why? The dealers specifically told their employees that these groups, the minorities, could be targeted due to their limited education. And then we're told not to try these same tricks with non-Hispanic white consumers because the dealer thought they would know better. Wow. You know who is also a commonly targeted group of car buyers? Military families. It's like abusing the people who fight for your freedom to rip you off. You know, you're free to rip them off. From fake recall notices to yo-yo financing to deceptive advertising, GPS trackers on vehicles, kill switches, add-on products, warranties, insurances, and a bucket load of fees, dealer finance offices are guilty of it all. Having been at the front of this fight for years on behalf of the entire Homework Guy team, I can tell you we are delighted to say it looks like karma has finally come full circle for car dealer finance offices, and I am delighted that we likely had something to do with it. Don't forget to comment on this video with any shady practices you encounter in dealer finance anywhere in the country. And make sure you include the dealer name, the city they're in, and their state, the contact information that you have, and the names of the people you talk to. Put it right in the comment section down below. We want you to help us to help the new chief catch up with the bad guys in the car business. All right, if you appreciated the video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below, include hashtag the homework guy and look for us on any of your favorite social media platforms out there. We post updates and share videos on other platforms too and answer car buying questions to help you out. If you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in that description box down below or on our website. Here's the best part. We don't just help car buyers. We use your tips to sponsor great people like Maggie. This amazing young lady works with university students to help them get more out of their studies and ultimately more out of their lives. We enthusiastically sponsor Maggie and she thanks you in advance. Just like the Homework Guy channel, Maggie knows you change the world by what you do. If you can't do a tip, no problem. Just help us get the word out. The Homework Guy team loves it when you share our videos with your family and friends and encourage others to subscribe to the channel. You're helping us get to the million subscriber mark. And by doing so, you're helping to bring fairness and honesty to the car business. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Let's go kick some finance butt, shall we? Take care, everyone.